is selling art the same as selling a can of beans? Today, I'm going to talk about branding and how artists, authors, and musicians can use the same techniques businesses use to get noticed. Branding is just a mechanism to communicate a personality in simple, easy, digestible chunks. You're an ad guy. What do you know about art? Charles Satchi is an ad guy and art collector. He knows a thing or two about branding. He launched the career of a young Damien Hurst. He paid him £50,000 to produce a piece of art just out of art school. 50,000 squid. You bought me for £6,000 and stuck me in a tank. 14 years later, that shark sold for 12 million bucks. 12 million? I'm in the wrong business. That is the work of branding. 14 years of carefully building an image and value. It worked for him, it can work for you. It's the same for writers, actors and musicians. The ones making the money are brands. Tom Cruise, Stephen King, all brands. More of a Nora Roberts fan myself. The publishing houses, art galleries and recording studios create an easily understood personality that they can sell to their customers. How does that work? Well, brands are how we buy and sell everything. Everything? Yeah, everything. We make choices based on brands. The type of clothes we wear, the cars we drive, and also the books we read, and the music we listen to, and the prints we put on our walls. The brands we choose say something about us. Yeah, you know what you're gonna get. That reduces the risk for the buyer. And once people buy into a brand, they come back for more and more and more. That is great news for an artist. But it takes time to build up a brand. Think about it. You live your brand 24-7. But the people who come across your work might only get exposed to it for a few seconds. Speed of understanding what you're about is crucial. That's where your brand comes in. At every point that you come in contact with a potential customer, you want to reinforce the same image and personality. Over time, that sinks in. What's my brand personality? Good question. A good way to do that is to think of five words that describe your work. How do you want people to react? What's the takeout or feeling that you want to leave them with? So five words that describe you. Smoldering, enigmatic, gritty, violent. <laughs> Oops. Next, think about your elevator pitch. You're stuck in an elevator with a publisher, art dealer, producer, whatever. You have 30 seconds to tell them what you do. Uh, 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 yeah. This is the message you should be telling your audience over and over again. What you stand for and what you like. That is how you build a brand. Next, give yourself a social media schedule. You want people to get to know you. Setting a schedule for your social media up front means you won't be sitting around scratching your head and stressing about what to write. Defining your brand will have given you a tone, a message you want to get out there, set up how often you want to communicate. There's, there are no hard and fast rules about how often you need to post. You just want to do it consistently. Give yourself some themes to talk about on different days. Up and coming dates. Things you're reading. What inspires you. Sneak previews of your work. Just interesting things that are relevant to the personality you want to project. I like dogs. Finally, make sure you start a list. A list? A list of emails. Collect contact details as soon as you can. Businesses love email because it's so effective. You should use it too. The people that sign up to a newsletter or website are your super fans. They can be incredibly valuable because they will actively spread news of you to people around them. Like ripples in a pond. There you have it. Branding is just a tool to get you noticed. Be simple, be true to who you are, and you will be remembered. New artists need all the help they can get. Thinking like a brand just might make the difference you've been looking for. Thanks for watching.